So today, I am going to show you how to bake double hole. And this is for my cousin because she's been wanting me to do a video of how to or how I make my tamago and I've actually figured out a better way to make it thanks to Nana not cooking for Nana but one of our friends named Nana so if you keep watching you get to find out how delicious this is and all the ingredients and measurements will be down below um, I'm an eyeballer but I'll try to make sure that I put a good measurement since my cousin isn't that very good at a making this uh, just randomly wise but yeah all right hope you enjoy all right so in a bowl you're gonna put cold water and some ice in there and you are gonna shred a papaya um, I already peeled mine um, beforehand so it wouldn't take as long but the reason why I'm doing this is to keep the papaya crisp and crunchy and um, what is it you're gonna leave it in this ice bath until you're almost ready to make it. And also it removes the slime that's on the papaya. So it's like a two in one kind of thing. Keeps it crunchy and takes the slime off. And I'm gonna show you a second way to shred the papaya. You're gonna get a pretty like mm, heavy knife kind of and um, hit some slices or put some slices into it. And you're gonna try to keep these slices kind of small. You're not gonna try to cut all the way through papaya. You're just gonna, you know, tap it lightly like how I am but just enough to get deep enough because once you do it all over the papaya then you're gonna turn it turn the knife sideways and slice it um, that way to make shreds it won't look as even as the other one but this is just an alternative way of cutting it if you don't have a shredder or a peel well I don't want to call it a peeler but what I had earlier now, if you do it this way, just be careful because, like I said, you know, like if you're not used to doing this, you want to keep your fingers tucked away from the knife and, you know, just take it nice and slow. You don't have to go fast until you're comfortable um, with picking up your speed. And here's another little trick. Um, if you do have a peeler, um, after you, you know, chopped into the papaya a little bit, you could use your peeler to peel if you're too scared to use a knife to peel it. So that's just another alternative if, you know, if you're kind of scared or nervous cutting it with a knife. Now you're gonna kinda wanna like mix around the papaya to make sure that it's all saturated. And I actually did this twice. I drained it and I soaked it again uh, one more time with um, the ice water. Now we are going to strain all the papaya. I just wanna make sure that all the water's off of the papaya cause I don't want to be um, pounding the papaya and there's just like so it's soaking with water. So you do wanna kinda let it strain for, I don't know, about maybe, 20 minutes or so um, but if you can't let it strain a little bit longer it would be a better idea and you can see that you know there's still a lot of water in it so I just let it sit um, till my meat's done and my rice is done like we're making fried chicken and sticky rice right now so I usually just wait until I'm almost done cooking those and then I start making the papaya salad so now I have my mortar and my pestle I think that's how you say it I forgot um, so I used to like the terminology in Asian, but I have two peppers, but I actually used three. I used a whole lime. I cut half of it, um, and then cut it into smaller, like little triangle slices, like how you see. And then I cut the other half into another half. Um, and that's just so I can squeeze some juice out of it. I'm only going to be using one of those halves. Um, you'll see later on while I'm making it, um, the other half, I just cut it just in case if I need felt like I needed more lime. So like I said, you want to add a little bit at a time and not too much at a time. So now I'm going to put about two tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to throw the peppers in there. And I am going to throw another one. You're going to see after I pound it a little bit, um, Bruce, he wanted another pepper because he said he wants a little bit spicier. So I just threw a third one in. But the peppers are optional. You don't have to do three. Um, it's just really up to your preference for the pepper. And same thing with the sugar. All the ingredients, really. Um, I put a little bit more sugar because, you know, since we did have three peppers, I kind of rather have a little bit sweeter. And about a tablespoon of shrimp paste or as um, Asian people call it, kabik. Well, Laos and Cambodian, from what I know. Um, but you're going to want to mix that up. 
and make sure that you know you mix it up really good sometimes it gets stuck on the side of the um, pounder I don't know how you would consider this but um, you, yeah that's when you want to turn it to make sure that all of it's off and you're like actually getting everything mixed up real good but you just want to make sure your peppers are very small and mashed like there's no big chunks of it now I'm about to put, well, I put about two handfuls of my papaya. And then I even like threw a little sprinkle in there because I was just like, oh, maybe we'll eat a little bit more. So just about two handfuls or so. And this is good for two people. It was me and Bruce who were eating this. So, I mean, you can add more. I didn't add all my papaya, but you can add more. And I added six cherry tomatoes and I dice those well not dice but i cut those into fours so it looks like more than six cherry tomatoes but i just cut it a lot of them and then i'm gonna squeeze all my little triangular limes now this is optional i just like to do this because i like um chewing on the limes and then um because it kind of soaks up all the juices from the papaya salad so i like it but you don't have to do it some people don't like it because it kind of tastes a little bit bitter but it's up to you but I'm squeezing all those, and then I'm going to squeeze one big, uh, one of the bigger slices that I cut. Just the juice. Um, I'm not going to put the whole thing in there. Um, and then I save the other one just in case if I need to put more um, lime juice into it at the end, like after I taste it. Okay, now I am going to add the um, badak or um, in English it would be considered a homemade fermented fish sauce, I believe. Um, you can buy it at the store. I'll try to link a picture or put a picture of the one you can buy at the Asian store that's in a glass bottle. Um, but I like homemade versions. They just taste better to me. Um, and, and this one, shout out to Yim's mom for making it. Um, I usually buy some from her, her mom, and I think it's like $10 for a big like soup container so good but i put two tablespoons of that well heaping spoons of that into um the papaya mix and i'm just going to pound everything together and i try to pound all the tomatoes and the limes first just so that i can get all the juices kind of flowing with the papaya and then i start um, mixing or like pounding the papaya and everything else together um, just because, like I said, I just want all the juices to start coming out so it's a little bit easier to make. Okay, and then you're going to want to taste it and make sure everything tastes good. If it doesn't taste good, then you're going to make your adjustments. Um, I actually added um, fish sauce. These are two different versions of fish sauce that you can use. Um, there's the three crabs or the squid fish sauce. Um, I like the three crabs, but Bruce likes the squid one, so I just use the squid one because since he was eating with me. And I put two tablespoons of that. And then, um, I did let him taste it. He said to add a little bit more, um, badak and more sugar. So like I said, you're just going to want to taste this after you've mixed it and kind of adjust it to your liking how we did and there's the sugar and then now you're just going to want to mix it and this time this time you don't have to pound it as much you can just kind of do a rolling kind of motion and um push it down just so that you know you're not getting these juices splashed back at your face if this is your first time um making this be fair warned the juice will splash in your face if you pound it too hard but you just want to taste it one more time and make sure everything's good and everything is good and this is a finished product so you want to make sure that it's very juicy like this okay so here is the finished product time to taste oh yeah it's good it's crunchy from soaking it in the ice cold water after i shredded it and it cleaned up all the slime that's on the papaya. Mm. Salty enough because of the like beet, fish sauce, and badak. Mm. Tart and sour from the tomatoes and the lime. I like sucking on these because these are really good. It has all the juices in it. Mm. So good. Thank you.
and then sugar helps sweeten it up so it's not too spicy because we put three peppers that are um, spicy for us because they're pretty spicy. Mm. Well, I hope you enjoyed me. If whoever else tries this out, let me know how it turns out. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!